Namaste. This is Ali, and this will be a short guided experience from the jungles of Costa Rica. And this is meant to take you into a state of Yoga Nidra where the mind remains alert and awake and the brain goes into a deep, slow delta brainwave state. Please know that I am recording this live in the jungle so there will be sounds of hummingbirds and toucans howler monkeys, insects, and so please allow and welcome each of the different sounds on this recording. If you feel disturbed or irritated by sounds, then you might choose one of my other recordings. You could begin by getting the body completely comfortable and at ease. Taking a moment to adjust and align your spine. To check in with your legs and hips. The position of your feet. And also checking in with the shoulder blades the upper chest, the arms, finding a comfortable position for the hands to rest, and being sure that the head and the neck feel fully supported. And once you've found that place of optimal comfort and ease, might you take a deep breath here in through the nose, let it go through the mouth, let your jaw soften, your tongue relax, and another deep breath in, and letting it go, inviting your whole body to melt down, another deep breath in, This time, as you exhale, really embrace the weight of your body, your head, your limbs, your torso. And let your breath come back to a natural rhythm, but with a gentle encouragement. Encouraging the inhale, encouraging the out breath. And could you find a five count rhythm with the inhale and the exhale so that you're equalizing the inhalation with the exhalation. Mind absorbed in the counting out of this rhythmic breath. And staying with this rhythm for just another few moments. And 
and then releasing the counting of the rhythm but could you welcome the shape of the breath to continue naturally and as you feel this rhythm could you welcome the sounds in your environment and also the sounds of the jungle in this recording and allowing each sound to be just as it is And as you welcome these sounds, also feeling your entire body resting here and welcoming the support beneath your body, the density of the ground, and allowing your body to rest back into that support. welcoming a sense of the pull of gravity and welcoming again the rhythm of your breath at the heart And as you tune into your heart center, might you welcome a sense of the beat of your heart. The sacred drum of your heart. And as you begin to tune in to the presence of your heart, might you welcome your sankalpa. Welcoming your sankalpa to be here now. And if you're not working with a particular sankalpa in your life at this moment, might you welcome the intention I am creating peace within each layer of myself could you repeat this three times silently within your mind And now beginning to draw attention down through the body, Anamaya Kosha. Could you bring all of your attention down towards the tips of your toes? Scanning towards the soles of your feet, center of the soles of your feet
sensing the tops of your feet and the tissues deep within the feet, bones, muscles, sensing the weight of your heels resting and the ankle joints, sensing deep within the ankle joints and up into the shins and the calves, sensing both bone, muscle. You might welcome the flow of circulation, blood flow and energy through the feet and calves. And sensing up into the knee joints, sensing the kneecaps and the backs of the knees. And aware now of the thighs, the front of the thighs and the backs of the thighs. And deep within the inner core center of the thighs, sensing the bone all the way down into the porous tissue of the bone marrow, living tissue, radiant with sensation. Sensing up into the hip joints and the pelvic bowl and all of the organs within the pelvis, a sense of the sacrum and the tailbone, the low belly and the navel rising and falling with the breath. Welcoming the vital organs within the belly and sensing up towards the rib cage. Again, sensing the gentle movement here. Feeling the volume and shape of the lungs as they fill with breath and release. A sense of that sacred beat of your heart. And all of the organs within the chest cavity Resting deeply. A sense of the shoulder blades and the spinal column. Both shoulder blades as well as both shoulder joints. Sensing the upper arms, front and backs of the arms, the tissues deep within the arms, down to the elbows, sensing within the elbows, the elbow creases. the forearms, the fronts and backs of the forearms, as well as deep within the bones, tissues, the wrists, 
the palms of the hands and the backs of the hands. Sensing the thumbs and all of the fingers towards the fingernails and the tips of the fingers. The space between the fingers A sense of the entire length of the arms and hands and the chest simultaneously, the lungs and the heart, and letting your attention move up towards the neck and the cervical spine the throat, the jaw, the teeth, and the gums, the roof of the mouth, inside of the cheeks, the lips, and the upper lip towards the tips of the nostrils. From the tips of the nostrils towards the sensations within the nose, the nasal flares and the outer architecture of the nose. towards the eyelashes and the eyelids, the eyebrows and the temples, the eyes themselves relaxing back and down, and all of the little muscles behind the eyes. Sensing the inner ears towards the folds of the ears, the earlobes, and sensing into the scalp and the hair, and the skull. the forehead to the center of the forehead sensing your breath here as you welcome the sensation at the center of your forehead begin to sense the inhale and the exhale and as you inhale could you imagine that you're breathing in through the center of the forehead towards the center of the brain exhaling back out through the forehead Just imagining, you could breathe in through the center of the forehead, exhaling back out through the center of the forehead. Let your mind be absorbed in the task of imagining this breath, breathing in through the center of the forehead.
cleansing breaths in and out. Just imagining. Releasing this. With staying with the rhythm of your breath. And on the inhale, could you welcome a sense of gentle wakefulness. On the exhale, inviting deep dreamless sleep. On the inhale, just inviting a sense of gentle, meditative wakefulness. The awareness that's already here. It's already present. Natural, effortless. On the exhale, inviting a sense of deep, deep rest, deep sleep. The body already knows how to rest deeply. The body already knows the natural and effortless deep sleep state of yoga nidra. No effort required. The subconscious mind already knows what to do. Deep, deep restful sleep. Gentle, meditative awareness. The presence that's already happening. Allowing thoughts to fade and dissolve as you embrace becoming more and more subtle.
relaxing back into what you already are. Relaxing back into your true nature. And from this place of resting back into pure awareness, could you welcome your sankalpa to be here? You might state it or simply feel it, call it in energetically.
And now could you begin to welcome a sense of your whole body resting here, deeply resting, and a sense of your body breathing itself. You might begin to welcome back a sense of your thoughts and emotions. Welcoming the part of you who feels and thinks. And the part of you who is a witness to the thoughts and emotions. the witnessing consciousness, non-judgmental presence that can watch and observe the different thought patterns and emotional weather patterns that pass through the layers of yourself. Noticing each of these parts of you, physical body, breath and energy, prana and life force flowing through your body and around your body. The cognitions and emotional tones that might be present in your day-to-day lived experience. The part of you that has room to witness it all with loving kindness. And you might welcome a sense of your spirit or your ancestors or any way that you feel connected, perhaps spiritually or perhaps through your connection to all of life, to all that there is. And begin to slowly invite yourself back to a wakeful presence. And you might start by deepening your breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And you might do that a couple of times, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and letting it go. And you might bring some small movements to your fingers, toes, you might gently Trace the thumbs along the fingertips, feeling the gentle and subtle sensations in your fingertips, innervated with lots of sensation, lots of little nerve endings in the tissues of the fingertips. 
and you can very slowly begin to bring some more movement back to your body. You might start with a big full body stretch of the arms and the legs, or you might hug in towards your heart center, hugging your knees in, hugging your whole self in towards your center. Notice what you need as you slowly emerge. What would you want in terms of movements if you were just waking up first thing in the morning and you were going to luxuriate in the first few moments of your day? What would that feel like? What would that look like? And as you slowly reemerge, Please be very gentle with yourself as you start to head back out into your regular life. <laughs> um, know that there were some birds practically landing on me <laughs> during this recording, so hopefully the noises weren't too loud or distracting. Um, but there is lots happening in the jungle at the moment here. Lots of wakefulness in this morning jungle energy. <laughs> so thank you for joining me here in the rainforest of Costa Rica. I hope that you feel deeply rested. I hope that you are starting to feel the cumulative benefits and effects of your yoga nidra practice if you've been practicing for a while you might share with me in the comments um, something that you're noticing if you've been practicing yoga nidra regularly for a length of time uh, you might let me know when you found my channel and you might share with me if you're just uh, if you're just starting out with this with this practice. And for those of you who are just starting out, know that I have a video where I talk about my primary sankalpa. So if you're, you, you're new to yoga nidra, you might not be fully understanding maybe what yoga nidra is as a state of consciousness, um, a state of deep sleep and delta brain waves in the in the brain and body with a meditative awareness um, where all cognitions cease and we get that glimpse of of liberation from all of the beliefs that we have the personality um, all of the all of the things that can sometimes weigh heavy on us as human beings, there is a sense of of suspending all of that and uh, resting back into the pure awareness that's always here and available. So you might like to learn a little bit more about what is yoga nidra or what is a sankalpa. So I'll, I'll link a video at the end of this so that you might learn a little bit more about it if you like. And thank you so much for being here with me today, for practicing with me today. Again, my name is Ali, and I love hearing from each of you in the comments here on YouTube. I really do take... Uh, it's where I spend the majority of my my time if I'm going to try to connect socially online I will often find myself in the YouTube comments and trying to answer as many questions as I can and connect with as many of you as I can so I really do love hearing from you and how your how your practice is going here if you'd like to learn more about yoga nidra or take a deeper dive into yoga nidra or become a guide of yoga nidra know that i have teacher training programs online not just yoga nidra trainings 
um, but also restorative yoga teacher trainings, which are the which is open. Uh, both of those are open with a rolling, ongoing um, ac- acceptance. So you might uh, like to begin, and you can begin any time, um, just after you're accepted into the program. And. There is also a 200-hour online embodied wisdom teacher training that we guide once a year. So if you'd like to learn more about that, again, you can find in the links below, in the comments, and on my website, more about our teacher training programs. We'd love to uh, connect with you more live and in person or live in our online trainings. Um, We do have in-person retreats here in Costa Rica uh, a couple times a year in the wintertime in the northern hemisphere, so in around January and February. So if you'd like to learn more about that, uh, they're very limited in their spots, so we only have about 20 spots per retreat, and we do two to three of those per year, and so it's really exciting to get to meet some of you who are joining here from uh, the global online community of people who are practicing yoga nidra here on this channel so it was an honor to meet a few of you this year in costa rica and i have the deepest gratitude to uh this life for allowing me to connect with so many beautiful souls from across the globe uh, in this very meaningful way. So thank you all so much for being here and for uh, practicing with me here on this channel. I really can't say enough about how appreciative I am to each and every one of you who are subscribed here on YouTube. So thank you very much and may you be peaceful, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you be free. Namaste.